Today is International Women's Day, and we are honoring the women who are making a difference in Maui. It's been seven months since the deadly wildfires there. Now a group of women is advocating for the people of Lahaina, creating change and spearheading recovery efforts on the island. ABC's Jacqueline Lee is on Maui with more. Hi, Jacqueline. T tell us about what these women are trying to do. Hey, Jerry. Well, great to be with you. Look, the word of the month is wahine, which means woman in Hawaiian. And we have spoken with women all week long, women who are strong and resilient and really focused on the recovery efforts after those fires. We spoke with one woman named Kaio Martin, and she is a direct descendant of Hawaiian ancestry. She's trying to bring attention to this temporary dump site in an, in an area called Oluwalu. Now, uh, when you think about the debris that was left after the fire, it is toxic. It contains arsenic and it contains lead. So it is currently sitting in this temporary dump site. She is incredibly concerned about it leaching into the water. And it also is adjacent to where her ancestors are buried. So she is really trying to sound the alarm about how dangerous this is, not only environmentally, but also culturally. Now, the county of Maui says the state reviewed the site and says that there is no, um, it's not imposing on any cultural or historic uh, part of the area. They say they will have environmental samples available every 90 days starting at the end of April, Terry. Wow. Uh, so, Jacqueline, there's also something called the Lahaina Land Trust, I guess, created by women on the island. What, what's that about? So you have to think about how many homes burned in that fire, right? And unfortunately, there are families who have lived on the island for generations who simply cannot afford to rebuild. Therefore, they are forced to sell the land. And you have to think, uh, in terms of economics, outside developers are trying to take advantage of that. They want to move in and make money off of it. Now, this is where the Lahaina Land Trust comes in. Women who have been here for generations want to preserve the magic of uh, their culture and the magic of this island. So what the land trust is doing is giving these homeowners the opportunity to sell to the land trust. The land trust then will lease it back to them so these families can stay here. And, and what organizers have said is if outside developers come in, if they take over this land, it changes the very essence of the island, Terry. So that is why this land trust is so important to preserving what makes Maui so special. Yeah, that's a great idea, Jacqueline Lee. Great to see you there. Thank you very much for that report. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.